November 19. We all need help. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4.16 Every one of us needs help. We are not God. We have needs. We have weaknesses. We have confusion. We have limitations of all kinds. We need help. But every one of us has something else. We have sins. And therefore, at the bottom of our hearts, we know that we do not deserve the help we need. And so we feel trapped. I need help to live my life and to handle death and to cope with eternity help with my family, my spouse, my children, my loneliness, my job, my health, my finances. I need help, but I don't deserve the help I need. So what can I do? I can try to deny it all and be a superman or a superwoman who doesn't need any help, or I can try to drown it all and throw my life into a pool of sensual pleasures or I can simply give way to the paralysis of despair. But God declares over this hopeless situation, Jesus Christ became a high priest to shatter that despair with hope and to humble that superman or superwoman and to rescue that drowning wretch. Yes, we all need help. Yes, none of us deserves the help we need, but no to despair and pride and lechery. Look at what God says. Because we have a great high priest, the throne of God is a throne of grace. And the help we get at the throne of grace is mercy and grace to help in time of need. Grace to help not deserved help, gracious help. That's why the high priest, Jesus Christ, shed his own blood. You are not trapped. Say no to that lie. We need help. We don't deserve it, but we can have it. You can have it right now and forever. If you will receive and trust in your high priest, Jesus, the Son of God, and draw near to God through him.